guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty and this is my series called Beauty Basics. So stay tuned to see what your lesson is going to be. Hi guys, today's lesson is on bronzer and blush. Oh, blush is my favorite. I really could talk about blush all day. Really, I just wanna wear it everywhere, my whole body. Okay, so one of my favorite blushes is Too Faced, not blushes, bronzers. Is any of the Too Faced bronzers. I don't really like Too Faced as much anymore in general, but I do like their bronzers. Um, this one is Sun Bunny, so it's there's a little bit of shimmer in this. When you are doing contour, which was on my last video, you don't want to use shimmer, right? Because contour is about um, receding and cutting into the face. Ugh, that sounds scary. Um, chiseling the face. We'll talk, we'll, t uh, we'll call it chiseling. Um, and when that shimmers, right, it brings forward. So you can have a little shimmer in your bronzer, you can have a little bit of warmth in your bronzer, and I like to take a fluffier brush, and this is where the sun hits you. So I'm gonna take a big brush like this. Again, this is not contouring this is warming up the skin so i'm just going to fluff that in tap it off and this i'm going to go over the whole cheekbone think about what you look like when you go to the beach or you're at the pool all day just warm it up i'm going old school and i'm going to do a three and an e already warming up less is more you can always build if you want, you can even take this over the nose a little bit because that is where sun might hit you. I know that's one of the first places that I get sunburned. And that's it, that's it. I want you to think about using a fluffier brush though. You don't want to use something dense like what you use to contour because we're doing a more diffused look. We're not trying to chisel, we're trying to warm up. Um, you could use a big fluffy blush brush, which I really love. This, this is a, a Merle Norman brush from when I first did makeup school in 2003. So I don't even think you can buy this anymore, but this shape, just something big and fluffy is really good. Um, and then when it comes to blush, I like the same. Now there are, you know, different ways of thinking on this. Some people like a more tapered blush brush. I do not because I like my blush everywhere. So talking about blush, um, the higher it is on the cheekbone, right? The more you're kind of chiseling the face a little bit. If it's on the apple, it's more of a youthful rounded look. So you have to decide what you are looking to do for your face. I already have a rounded face. I mean like literally perfectly round face. Um, however, I like blush on the apples of my cheeks. I like a very youthful doll-like face. And so I go ahead and put the blush here on my apples. Now, a good weird face to make to see where that is, is you, you do like the kissy lip and then smile. And you can see that perfect little ball right on your cheeks. Um, I see a lot of people that take it below the cheekbone where they kind of do blush down like this. That creates a jowl. I already got jowls. I ain't trying to get no more jowls. So I'm gonna show you how I apply my blush and then where I put powder to help chisel it out a little bit more since I'm putting the blush on the apples of my cheeks. So I will start with version one, which is just on the actual cheekbone. And it's nice to have the cheekbone uh, contour bronzer blush all blend together. Um, it's way more natural. So tapping, not blowing. And if you have a smaller cheek, then you're gonna need a smaller brush. Um, I have a massive cheek, so I'm trying to be gentle here. I tend to overdo my blush, personal preference. All right, so that's more of an inline look. So let's do the other side, same way. The fluffier the brush, the more diffused you're gonna have of a look. The more densely packed brush, the more you're gonna have a pinpointed look and the smaller the brush, same thing. So it just depends again on the look you are going for. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more on the apples.
if you have covered up your highlight, because I did a different video on contour and highlight already, you can go back in and re-highlight the, the tops of the cheekbones. I like a little bit more meshed in look. Um, so what I do now, this is the end of my, um, oops, let me get it. Um, this is the end of my skin. So I take Cody Airspun, and this is a very thick, I don't wanna say thick, but it's a way more of a dense powder than the e.l.f. powder. And I just take the little um, powder puff that's in here and I create a line right under where my contour is. And what I do is I let it sit there while I do the rest of my face and then I buff it out. And then I also set my smile lines because I tend to crease there. So this is the where I bake, basically. And that's the only place I bake. So I'm gonna let that sit for a moment and then what I do is I take um, my blending flat top powder brush and I just blend that in. So pretend I let that sit for about five minutes and then I'm gonna blend it in. And then I blend in all of my powder and cheek products so that there isn't a strong line. I don't personally like that. If you like that line, beautiful. So I have contour, bronzer, blush and highlight. And if you want to re-highlight, you just take that little brush that I've lost. Where are you? Where are you? I'm going to make a YouTube station just for fake songs. Well, whatever. Take your highlighter and you're just going to re-go over this little area if you have gone too far and you feel like you need to readjust. That's real pretty. All right, so that's bronzer and blush. Thanks for watching, guys.